our industry-renowned pitch shifting plugin just got an update. In this video, we'll explain what Elastic Pitch is, what's new in version 2.5, and how you can use it to elevate your productions. Elastic Pitch is an ultra-transparent, real-time pitch shifting plugin that you can use on basically any audio source. It's useful for pitch and form and shifting vocals, transposing polyphonic material such as a sample, and even entire compositions so you can hear what they sound like in a different key. few creative tricks up its sleeve too. Elastic Pitch V2.5 uses the latest version of our industry standard pitch shifting algorithm but features a completely redesigned, all new, resizable user interface. The interface now always operates in advanced mode, giving you instant access to all controls at all times. The pitch, timbre, and link controls have been relocated directly above the XY control for improved usability. The voicing control is now a rotary control in the side panel. We've added an on-off button to the delay so that you can toggle the delay without having to adjust the feedback. The new MIDI indicator and toggles simplify the MIDI pitch control functionality, and a secondary grey ball appears on the XY display when Elastic Pitch receives pitch bend messages through its MIDI input. Lastly, Elastic Pitch's multi-channel audio has been doubled from 8 to 16 channels while retaining complete phase coherence. This means it's now compatible with even more immersive audio formats, future-proofing it for years to come. Now that you're up to speed on what's new, let's take a comprehensive look at Elastic Pitch's functions and features. The first thing you'll notice in Elastic Pitch is the XY display an interactive graphical representation of the pitch control along the vertical or y-axis and the timbre control along the horizontal or x-axis. Clicking and dragging this ball up or down will adjust the pitch and timbre within a range of plus or minus 12 semitones. You can see the amount of pitch shifting being applied above the XY display. Say you're sorry, darling. Say it's all your fault. Say you wish me. You wish that you answered my call. Hold down the shift key while dragging to lock the adjustment to semitones, or hold down the command key on Mac or the control key on Windows to fine tune the adjustment. By default, the pitch and timbre controls are linked, giving you a more transparent pitch shifting effect as heard before. Alternatively, you can unlink pitch and timbre by clicking on the link switch to adjust them independently. This gives you the option to preserve the timbral character of your audio and allows for more creative sonic manipulation. If you offset pitch and timbre whilst unlinked, you can relink the controls to retain the relative relationship between them. You can also adjust pitch and timbre using their respective sliders or numerical fields. Double click on the numerical fields to enter specific values or double click on the pitch or timbre labels, sliders, or the XY display to reset them to zero semitones. Both numerical fields can also display the value either in semitones or as a percentage. The voicing control refines the effect of timbral shifts. Generally, lower voicing values work best for lower pitched material and higher values for higher pitched material. You can also experiment with this control for a range of creative timbral options. As with all parameters in Elastic Pitch, the voicing control is automatable, opening up unique modulation opportunities. Elastic Pitch's dry-wet control can be used to mix the unprocessed sound with the shifted version. This is useful for creating harmonies with pitch shifting,
adding high-end sparkle by increasing the timbre and blending it with the original sound. Or thickening sounds by decreasing the timbre. The pitch can also be controlled via MIDI, allowing you to play the plugin like an instrument. The specific setup process for this varies between doors, and the Elastic Pitch Manual contains detailed information on how to set this up in many popular ones. Once MIDI routing is set up, the MIDI in LED indicates when Elastic Pitch receives incoming MIDI information. To activate MIDI control, simply click on the MIDI in button and it lights up green. MIDI note 60, C3, corresponds to a shift of zero semitones or no shift. Notes in the octave below C3 will shift the pitch down by the corresponding number of semitones, while notes in the octave above C3 shift it upward. Once you go beyond the one octave range either side of C3, no additional pitch shifting will occur. Elastic pitch also responds to pitch bend messages, bending the pitch within a range of plus or minus two semitones. The movement of the pitch bend wheel is represented by a secondary gray ball on the XY display. Note that the pitch shift is still limited to a total of plus or minus 12 semitones when in MIDI control mode. When linked, incoming MIDI controls both the pitch and timbre. When unlinked, the timbre is unaffected while the pitch changes with the incoming MIDI. The input freeze button activates the grain freeze feature, capturing and sustaining the current input signal indefinitely. The frozen audio can then be controlled with the pitch, timbre and MIDI controls, allowing you to create melodies from frozen sounds with ease. Elastic Pitch also features a unique pitch delay, which creates time-delayed copies of the signal that can be fed back through the input for pitch-shifted echoes. Activate the delay with the on-off button. Adjust the delay time with the delay dial. It can be set in milliseconds or synced to your door's tempo. The feedback dial controls the amount of the delayed signal that is fed back into the input. At 100%, the delayed signal is fully fed back into the input, resulting in infinite repetitions. The magic of the delay happens when you adjust the pitch and timbre as the repetitions are continuously processed through the pitch shifting algorithm. This results in a constant delay time, but with repetitions that rise or fall in pitch, timbre, or both. Factory presets can be found in the preset menu. There are a selection of creative presets, and some more utilitarian presets that can be used to simulate the pitch shift that occurs due to a change in frame rate or sample rate, for example. Clicking on the question mark icon will open the help menu. Here, you can quickly access your activation details, the elastic pitch user guide, and the Z-Plane website. By clicking on the gear icon, you can also access the settings menu, which offers the option to suppress a potential pitch glide when rendering audio. Elastic Pitch offers flexible, real-time pitch shifting with one of the most versatile and transparent pitch shifting algorithms on the market. If you already own Elastic Pitch, you can download the free version 2.5 update from the user area on the Z-Plane website. If you don't own it yet, you can download the free demo or purchase the full version by heading to zplane.de.